difference is between uh, some Hydro Flasks. This is the Hydro Flask we bought at Dick's Sporting Goods for about 40 bucks. And this is the one we bought on eBay for about 25. They look pretty similar from the outside here, but there's a couple key differences. One, as you can see, the Hydro Flask we bought at Disc Dix has a lar larger bead on the top here. This was a little bit smaller. But the telltale difference on the bottom, you can see the bottom of this one has all, all the information on it, including the website. This one here is completely different. It just says uh, designed in Bend, Oregon. That's how you can tell the big difference. So um, a lot of videos out there already talking about that. But what we want to do is we want to measure how well each one of these insulates. So, you know, there's the $40 one, here's the $20 one. Let's see the difference of the insulation power. So we took a glass of hot water here. It's currently at 124 125 it should be at about uh, 127 okay so right now it's at 125.7 125 125.7 is what we're going to call it so 125.7 is where it's at we're going to pour equal amounts of water in each put a cap on it and throw it in the freezer for a couple hours so let's just stir this up a little bit make sure it's uh mixed up so we're going to take this amount of water in here. Be careful, don't let the water spill on you. It's very All right, hot. Very hot. All right. So that's up to that line. We're going to pour it in this one first. Both these have been sitting in the same area of the house for the same amount of time. Again, this is not a scientific amount of water here. We're just trying to guesstimate right about the same amount. We're pouring that in. Let's take a quick check of measurement of temperature. We got it's gonna cool down a little bit because in the water we got roughly about 122.5. Uh, that dropped a little bit. Now 122.5, 122.7. So it's close. We're gonna get the lids. I got the lids right here. We got two lids. We're gonna put them on. So as you can see, this one here is the one with the official wording on it. Here's the one that's not. We're gonna put them in the freezer for two hours. So let's see what happens. All right, so uh, we're, back. we're back. These have been sitting in the refrigerator at zero degrees for two and a half hours, right? Yep. And uh, we're gonna see where they're at. So this side here, that's the real one. The one we got at Dick's. This one over here is the fake one, the one we got on eBay. And we're gonna open up. So Ted, what's your guess for uh, where it's gonna be? I think 85. 85? I'm going to guess 80. So uh, you're going to guess 85 and guess 80. You think they're going to be the same or different? Uh, I think we're going to be different. All right. So let's see. So we got the real one first. We'll open it up. And we'll stick our thermometer in. Oh, I didn't shake it. Let me shake it just so there's not any uh, sort of like, yeah, you know, thermal water. You know, the yeah. uh, heat rise at the top. Okay, so I gave it a shake, and now we're at, let's see, 95.1 is where we're at in this one. So real one, 95.1, we started at like 122.5. Yeah. Alright. Next one, this is, the, this is the knockoff one, the one we got on eBay for 20 bucks. Let's see where this one's at. And this one is at 95.5. So off by uh, 0.4. I mean, it's close. They're both at 95 degrees. Well, so what can I say? I was right. You were right. You got that one right. You were said 90. So what's the what's our conclusion here regarding the quality of the fake one versus the real one? Well, they're about the same. They're about the same. But just to make sure you know which one's different, uh, the real one has a, a smaller writing. On the bottom. Yeah, on the bottom. And then the fake one has this bigger writing on the bottom. You got it. So overall that, though, the $20 one were just as good as the $40 one. Go to eBay.